Hello everyone, my name is Rajesh Kumar and I'm your DevOps SRE DevSecOps coach. I have a uh, close to 18 plus years of experience working uh, in uh, multiple MNSEs around the globe and uh, having in-depth knowledge of DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. Uh, so I would like to introduce you uh, one certification program in a DevOps and that is we, we call it DevOps Certified Professional. Uh, now this is a two months of program, 25 tools uh, of DevOps you will learn. And uh, apart from that, you will also get the access to the LMS, lifetime access to the videos portal. It's a certification program and uh, you will have 25 assignments and two projects along with it. It's a completely weekend program. So here you have uh, classes on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, so as part of this course, you will learn multiple things. Here you see that uh, you will learn Linux, AWS, Docker, Jira, Confluence, Python, Git with GitHub, SonarQ, Maven, Gradle, Packer, Artifactory, Selenium, Jmeter, Ansible, Kubernetes, Helm, Terraform, Jenkins, Datadog, Splunk, and Neuralink. Uh, now, how do we, uh, you know, apply for this? So, how can you reach out to us? So you have a WhatsApp number and email ID. So please uh, reach out to us and we'll help you to onboard this program. Uh, apart from this uh, DevOps certified professional programs, we are offering other certifications as well in a DevSecOps, SRE and uh, one of the very, very comprehensive programs which we have is in, ma is in Master in DevOps Engineering. Yeah, so feel free to get in touch with us and then uh, enroll for it. Thank you. Okay, so today the tool which I'm going to teach you, uh, basically it is uh, for functional testing. Okay, functional testing means I want to test the functionality of the software. Now software when we say now now is web application only. Okay, so website it should be web application. So we use Selenium, not not for Android also only for website application. So this is called functional testing. Uh, we, we want to check the, the performance of the website. And in order to check the performance of the website, we use, we have to automate everything, right? And for that, we use Selenium. So as part of this discussion, I'll help you in terms of why we use Selenium, what is Selenium, version and suit, how to set up and demo and so on. So why to use Selenium? So simple reason, uh, you know that I, I, I put everything in a very straightforward manner. Uh, we are in the world of DevOps. And when we are in the world of DevOps, we are supposed to code for everything. Right now. So code for product, Python, code for testing the product, Selenium. Okay, so yes, manual testing is very costly and we need to automate everything. And for that, we need to you know, uh, automate. Uh, we need to write a code which will can automate everything and so on. Code for infrastructure, which tool we are using? If you want to code for infrastructure, which tool? I see. Infrastructure, I mean, uh, Terraform, Terraform, no? Yeah, yeah Terraform. Code for, code for servers, server configurations, servers configuration, Ansible, right? Yeah. Ansible, yeah. Code, uh, code for CI. Jenkins. Python. Uh, wonderful. Code for uh, CD. So this, this tool I have not added in this course. Uh, why? Because just recently it's got become popular. So nowadays CI, CD. we are talking, no, CD part. CD, okay. CD, part. Uh, CD in a container world. So you can uh, think of Argo CD. Okay, Argo CD. So these are the tools. But sir, uh, Ansible is also used as a ISD, you know, on, not only for servers. Uh, Ansible is being used for CD operation, but for the uh -huh. VMs, virtual machines, okay, uh, primarily. But who's using virtual machine nowadays? Most of us got migrated to container, Docker, Kubernetes, right? So what different, yeah. So different. Yeah, but two days ago, 
two days ago red hat uh, told no that that they will be used uh, it will be used as a isc for uh, google cloud i saw on linkedin ha so uh, here i'll put it in this way if you want to create infrastructure then mm -hmm. you use terraform understand this right yeah if you want to configure the servers which is created by infrastructure i mean terraform then you use ansible okay configuration okay. management but here i was talking about the cd part continuous deployment in the container world okay okay so yeah so mind it set your mindset coding for everything okay so yes. that is how we'll grow so here also i'll teach you coding itself nothing new and that's easy actually uh yes uh, now the coding uh, in what so java coding uh, which is a part of the demo a uh, little bit of it but uh, Uh, you can basically write a code in any languages which is supported by selenium so yes why we use selenium so we want to test your website okay but not through manual way automated way so instead of you clicking on the website checking the forms and functionality this tool will do that very simple way now many people love this tool because of its open source also and it's free also and because this is written in java selenium has been written in java so it will work on the every operating system mind it it's not for java based application it's not for this tool you cannot use for the testing only java is for a website any website powered by any website okay mind it so selenium supports all web, web browser and multiple programming language so if you want to compare this with other domain other tools in this same domain uh, look at this here uh, these are the tools which is very popular hp qtp i remember uh, uh, qtp uh, the tool when i was started uh, when when i started my career journey in 2005 then many of my uh, college friend enrolled for this course qtp so they wanted to automate testing they wanted to become a test engineer so they enrolled for this course such so yeah this is a tool which is from hp IBM we have RFT test complete and selenium now if you look at this every parameters uh in terms of license cost customer support coding skill environment support and language support every parameter selenium is leading okay except one and that's called coding skills look at this that so in all these tools you have a coding skills low coding skills required for website testing uh but in selenium you need to have a very high coding skills got all of it yes yeah so what is selenium so selenium is open source tool that can automate almost any web browser okay so what is the version and suite of tools so look at this this is called selenium suite okay so in the selenium suite you have id selenium id don't think that is a editor okay it's a something different i'll teach you and then selenium grid and then selenium rc and then selenium web driver what is id what is grid what is rc and what is web driver i'll teach you okay so these are the four software but what has happened over the period of time multiple release has happened on the selenium and currently selenium 3 is available so if you look at this a web driver and rc got merged together and they started calling web driver so now in the selenium 3 you have id and then you have a web driver and then you have a grid so if if someone ask you hey what are the suites we have in the tools we have in the selenium suites id second first web driver second and grid third Will you remember this, all of you? Sir. Yeah. Just give me a second. Just give me a second. Just give me a second. I forgot to invite someone.
let me show my screen. Can you see my screen all of you? Yes, sir. <clears throat> yeah. So this tool, what you see here, is for functional testing, and we have a suite three tools coming together: ID, Web Driver, and Grid. Okay. So now, which browser it supports? So almost any browser which you know it supports. Simple. Okay. So how does <clears throat> so how does it work? This I'll teach you. Okay. Uh, look at this. So right now you don't know what is driver. I need to teach you. But here what you do? Typically look at this. You write a code. Okay. In Java or C++ or some other languages also python and all you write a code and uh, that code you send to selenium and selenium send that code to the different different driver i driver edge driver firefox driver chrome driver okay so now now and this driver send the code to uh, explorer so are you understanding all of you Hello, all of you. Yes. Sir. Yeah. So the question is, I need to write a code, okay? And now, what is a driver that we need to understand very well, okay? So this will get started. So which language which is supported? Uh, Selenium supports what language? So Java, C++, Ruby, Python, JavaScript, Perl, and PHP. So these are the language which is supported. So, 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 yeah, so now the question is, now question is how to install. So this I'll teach you through slides, it's very difficult to do that. Yeah, so let's get started with different slides. So, sorry, there's some disturbances happening. So, let's get started. Okay, so can you please tell me which are the components we have in Selenium, all of you? Web driver, grid. Web driver? No. ID first, ID. Correct. First one and the second one. Web driver. And third one. Great. Java. No. Third one is. Uh,
hub okay the the third one is hub let me show you so selenium grid this is the hub okay server selenium grid is called server sometimes grid sometimes server so these are the three components we have So, just a second, there's a browser hanging. Okay, so what is ID? What is ID? <clears throat> so, this is the first question we should know correct all of you yes so guys selenium id is a browser plugins selenium id is a browser plugins now in firefox we call it extension in sometime we call it plugins sometime we call it extension so like that it's a plugin it's a browser plugin so many people get confused id means some editor for cd no this is the plugin okay so this plugin has to be installed and using that you can record the session session means browsing sessions so i'll put it in a very simple way let's say first i will do a manual test so I open up the website, look at this. I open up my website DevOps school and log in. Username is Rajesh, password is Rajesh123. So now this things you want to run hundreds of time, correct now? You want to run this hundreds of time. You want to log into DevOps school. You want to log in, you want to put the username Rajesh and password Rajesh123. And then you want to, uh, run every day let's say every two hours so what you will do tell me think about it what you will do <clears throat> anyone write the code and repeat in for loop huh but we'll record the browser session itself correct now <clears throat> browsing so whatever you <clears throat> you will do <clears throat> sorry so I'll record it and then moment you record it through the Selenium IDs, the output will be Selenage. Okay. So when you record the browsing session in the viewer browser, it generates Selenage. And that Selenage you can play as many times you want. Simple. Are you understanding all of you? What is Selenage sir? Selenage is output which you get it out from the recording. Recording files you can say selenage okay okay so now what will be in the selenage correct now so selenage will have a code selenage you'll have a code what code so you'll have actions you'll have assessors and we'll have assertions so now these keywords you have to remember that okay remember that when you in the browser you install the plugin id plugin and then any testing which you want to do for example i said devops school login testing so for that session you record manually you do that record this generate selenage that can be played multiple times but what is in selenage so selenage you have action assessors and assertions <coughs> sorry <clears throat> so what is action all of you so action is something which you do on the web, web web page like click hover select these are called action are you getting me all of you yeah all of you now assessors what is this assessors so see whatever you do in the web page it generate a response okay and that response 
that uh, response code for example if you go and hit the website then you get some response that response will be in some html uh, format correct now all of you hello so that that response is basically called assessors for example title is one assessors heading one is one assessors headed to are you comfortable with html right all of you yeah now what is assertions so assertion uh, kind of code you will have in the selenies again using that you can verify whether the output assessors has a certain code or not for example i'll put it in this way i click remember that uh, 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 replay this scenario in your mind i open my website click on the login page put the username and password that's one test cases results will be there that's called assessor assessors so i click i enter username i enter password is action submit is action when you submit assessors got created the output now the output is as per your expectation or not so login is successful or login is failed this is the two scenarios here you will get it so assertion is a way to put the conditions assertions is a way to put the condition if you got the login is failed that means test case failed login is successful that means test case successful so how do you put this condition failure or success using assertions are you understanding all of you yes so guys action so here I, i'll put it on more way whatever you browse using id you can record that you record it generates selenies selenies will have a code of actions assessors and assessors and that you can run multiple times and open a website click on the login fit the username and password and this you can run hundreds of times did you understand that all of you yeah. all of you okay so this is a sample of this is a sample of okay this is a sample of assessors when you click on the website click here there and all kind of things this is the only actions you have it right now okay so these are the actions which you have uh, these are the action in selenium okay don't need to remember that just remember that you you understand the website what you do so you can move key up key down click hover some keys tick tack and all kind of things so all this so now let's talk about the assertions so assertion you understand that using that you can you can verify whether the output is as per your you know as per your uh, expected as per expectations expected. or not yeah correct but you know what assertion is also multiple types more than 5 6 types okay but here i am talking about only three which is the most important so assertions also we have a three types here assert verify and wait for so when you use assert in your code selenium selenium code that means you know let's say if you have a 30 test cases okay so when you use assert the next test case let's say this when you use assert and that particular test case is failed then it will uh, others will be aborted other test cases because in the test suite you have a multiple test cases right correct no yes so that will be aborted but when you use verify verify that test fails then other test will continue and when you use wait for assert in some test cases then it will be wait for something to be true and then only it will call the other test cases something like that. okay so this is the assertions 
So multiple assertions are there and so on. So now before that talking about the web driver, I will show you some demo. Okay, so any questions so far? Sir, as a container point of view, uh, where do we use this uh, Selenium? Now how? Uh, I mean, suppose we have uh, uh, infrastructure as well. Uh, so what, what is your question? I, I, I could not understand. Uh, as a DevOps point of view, you know, where we use the Selenium? Because uh, website is a microservice of any of the client or something. We are, uh, as a DevOps, we are <clears throat> creating a coding infrastructure. IAC, you can say. We are Terraform. No, so, you are yeah. using IAC, IAC many times, but uh, here mm. IAC is just only for the infrastructure creation and management. Correct. Correct. Okay. So let me put you uh, full of uh, full <laughs> scenarios for it. So here, let's talk about the DevOps SDLC cycle. Okay. Now, first thing, what you do, you do the plan, planning of the software development. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, are everyone is able to hear me? Akansha, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Yeah, you are audible. Audible, okay. so you are audible here. So, yeah, so someone's complaining, they cannot hear me, so. Guys, okay, sorry. So now we have a plan. Then what we do? Planning, we do that for the software development. Then we do the coding. Okay. And after the coding, we analyze the code, whether good code or not. Okay. And after the analysis, we build the code, uh, package the code and all. After the building, we do the unit testing. After the unit testing, we do what? Uh, 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 package the software. Now, after the packaging, we archive the software, right? After archiving, what we do? We deploy to QA environment. And then after that deployment to QA environment, we do the acceptance test. So now, here we are focusing acceptance test. This is the place we are focusing and this is the acceptance testing, which include functional testing, performance testing, security testing, and all other different types of testing. Are you understanding? If you would have any issues with our channel membership, you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest. Thanks for watching.